In this video, we are looking at Pythagoras' theorem. This theorem tells us how the lengths of the sides of a right angle triangle are related. We need some key vocabulary first. Here is a right angle triangle. The longest side of a right angle triangle is always the one that is opposite the right angle. It is special enough to have a name. We call this longest side the hypotenuse. We call the other two sides of a right angle triangle its legs. The two legs are the ones that meet at a right angle. Now let's label the lengths of the legs A and B. It doesn't matter which way around, so I'm going to label this one A and this one B. And let's label the length of the hypotenuse C. It's important to get the hypotenuse right. Now, once you've got A, B and C labelled, we can use Pythagoras' theorem. Pythagoras' theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Let's have a look at the question. Find the length of the missing side of each triangle. Here we have a triangle and this is the side where we don't have a length. So this is the missing length we need to work out. We've already got this triangle labelled up with the longest side or the hypotenuse marked with the C. That's important. Remember, the longest side is always the one opposite the right angle. We've got the two legs labelled A and B. And remember, the order doesn't matter. We can now work out this length here by using Pythagoras' theorem. I'm going to start by writing the theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I can now substitute any values that I have from the diagram into this equation. I know that a is 3 and b is 4. I don't know what c is, so I can't substitute anything there. But what I can write is 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Now, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. So 25 equals c squared. Now, let's remind ourselves, what are we looking for? We're looking for the length of the missing side. And in this triangle, the length of the missing side is c. Now, we have c squared. How do we get to c? Well, we need to take the square root of c squared, which means we need to take the square root of 25. So that missing length, c, is simply the square root of 25, and that is equal to 5. So I can write my answer, c equals 5. So the missing length is 5 centimetres. Let's move on to the next question. We're looking for the missing length, which is this one here. Now, before we get started, we need to label our sides A, B and C. Start with the hypotenuse. We need to label that one C. Which one of these is the hypotenuse? Hopefully you've spotted that it's this one. It's the longest side. It's the one opposite the right angle. And these two are the legs. They are the ones that meet at the right angle. So I'm going to label this side C and the other two A and B. And it doesn't matter which way around I get A and B. To find the missing length, I'm going to use Pythagoras' theorem just like before. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Remember, this only works for right angle triangles, but we've got a right angle triangle here, so it's fine. Substituting the numbers in, I get 7 squared plus 9 squared equals c squared. Now, 7 squared is 49 and 9 squared is 81. If you add those together, you get 130. So 130 equals C squared. Now C is going to be the square root of that. So it's the square root of 130. Now you wouldn't be expected to do that in your head. If we pop that into our calculator, we find that the square root of 130 is 11.401 with a load more digits. 
we only need to round to two decimal places so that's going to be 11.40 so the missing length is 11.40 centimeters correct to two decimal places now let's just do a quick common sense check on these remember the hypotenuse must be the longest side of the triangle so in the first question where we were looking for the hypotenuse what we were given were the legs which were three and four centimeters long but because the hypotenuse must be longer than any of the legs we know that the answer must be greater than four centimeters so that's a good quick check to do at the end did we get an answer that was longer than four centimeters yes we did if for some reason we got an answer that was less than four centimeters then we must have made a mistake similarly on this question here we were again looking for the hypotenuse now the legs are seven and nine centimeters long but the hypotenuse must be longer than either of the legs so we know before we even do any working out that this length is definitely greater than nine centimeters and once we've done all the working out let's just do a quick check is this greater than nine yes it is if we got an answer of nine centimeters or less then that would mean we had definitely made a mistake so there's a good common sense check for you to use when you do these questions here are two more questions let's have a look at this blue triangle first remember try to identify the hypotenuse the longest side which one is it hopefully you've realized it is this one here this is the longest side it's the one that is opposite the right angle so we're going to label that one c centimeters and the other two sides the legs those are the ones that meet at a right angle they can be a and b and it doesn't matter which way around so i'll label them like this now we need to find this missing length but we'll follow the same process as before i'll write down pythagoras's theorem that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared we substitute the numbers that we've got so we don't know what a is but we know what b and c are so that's what's going to get substituted in here a squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared now to make these a bit easier to work with i'm going to work out what 5 squared is and what 13 squared is 5 squared is 25, so the left hand side becomes a squared plus 25, and that equals 13 squared. 13 squared is 169. Now, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find a, so I need to make a the subject of this formula. One step in the right direction would be to subtract 25 off the left hand side. If I subtract 25 here, I'm just left with a squared but if I subtract 25 from the left hand side I need to subtract 25 from the right hand side as well 169 minus 25 is 144 so a squared is 144 and we can just check that makes sense if a squared is 144 then this must be 144 and 144 plus 25 is 169 right we're almost there we're looking for a not a squared so we need to find the square root taking the square root of both sides we find that a equals 12 the square root of 144 is 12 and that means the missing length is 12 centimeters let's move on to the final example pause the video and have a go at this one for yourself i will warn you your final answer will be a nasty decimal so you will need to round it to two decimal places and of course you will need a calculator to find it in the first place here's what you should have found the missing length is the square root of 75 centimeters which works out about 8.66 centimeters when you use pythagoras's theorem it's a good idea to check your answer once you've worked it out. If you're looking for one of the legs, which we were in this case, make sure that your answer is 
something that is shorter than the length of the hypotenuse. Here, the hypotenuse is 10 centimetres, and we've worked out a length of one of the legs that is 8.66. That is shorter than 10 centimetres, so it makes sense. If we worked out a length that was greater than 10 centimetres, then we must have made a mistake because the hypotenuse must be the longest side.